Hello, today we're going to be creating a clay dragon eye. You are going to need a few tools here. Let's start with a placemat. This is a piece of fabric so that your clay doesn't stick to your table. You need a ball of clay. You will also need this eye tracer. You will find this in the ceramic center. And you're going to need some slab rollers. Slab rollers look like this. Two rulers. It's about half an inch thick and then a rolling pin. You're gonna set these up to the sides of your placemat and you're gonna be putting your clay in the middle and rolling it. This will keep it at an even thickness. So you're gonna take your clay ball and before you roll it, it might be a good idea to just kind of flatten it like a pancake, just a little bit, not too much. It just helps with the rolling process. And I'm gonna take my rolling pin and I'm gonna go forward and backward starting in the middle and you're gonna keep rolling until you can't roll any more. So you'll notice it's still getting more flat in some spots. I'm gonna keep rolling. Once I notice that it's really not flattening anymore, then it's done. And you'll see when I pull my slab up, it's the same thickness all the way around. All right, so I'm gonna take my tracer and I'm just gonna place it in the middle here. And I'm gonna take one of my clay tools that has a flat edge and I can just trace the outline. And then I can take my tracer off and then I'm gonna cut a little bit deeper to cut this out. Okay, I'm gonna put my scraps to the side because I'm gonna need them for the other steps, so save them. All right, pretty good. I'm gonna actually fix that spot there. All right, great. So I've got the dragon eye started. Okay, now the next step for the dragon eye, I need to use my scraps. And what I'm gonna do with my scraps is I'm going to create um, what we call coils. So I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna put this to the side, a little piece of clay and I'm gonna roll it or kind of squish it into like a ball. Um, and then I'm gonna kind of start to flatten it out in my hands like this and roll it. And then on my table, I'm gonna roll it really skinny. And I do what we call the pinky check. The pinky check means it should be the thickness of your pinky. That's how you know the coil is done being rolled out. And it's still a little bit too thick, so I'm gonna keep rolling it. I can use two hands to roll it. And measure my pinky. That's starting to look good. I'm gonna roll out the edge just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna break this into two equal pieces. I need two coils. These are gonna be the top and bottom parts of the um, eyelids of the dragon eye. So I am gonna take my coil and I'm just gonna kind of measure it out. I'm not gonna stick it down yet. I just wanna see if it's the right size. If it's not, then just pinch a piece off. So you wanna leave a little bit of space on the edge here and you want your eyelids to kind of meet each other by leaving a little like one inch space at uh, top and bottom of the dragon eye because you're gonna be putting some textures here. Okay, now to attach this, I need to use my clay slip. You'll find this in the ceramic center. Clay slip is basically just watered down clay and you need to do um, the process called scoring, slipping, sticking, and smoothing. We call this the four S's. So take your clay tool with a flat edge and you are going to score that means make some scratches into your clay where you want to attach another piece of clay. So I'm just making like crisscross marks. Then I'm gonna take my slip and I'm just gonna dab it into the cracks. When I score and when I slip, it's basically like clay glue. Then I'm gonna take my piece that I want to attach and I'm going to stick it. So score, slip, stick. And then finally, the last S is smooth. This is not done yet because I need to smooth this piece and this piece into the other pieces. My goal here is I don't want any more cracks. I want to basically make this piece of clay look like it's now the same 
piece of clay. There's no hole or crack there. You can use your clay tools to help you smooth things out like this. You can use your water. You can use your finger. I like to use my finger and water and put some pressure into the clay to fuse it with the other piece of clay. The reason why we have to score and slip is because the clay oven is very hot and it's very intense. So if your pieces are not attached very well to your other pieces of clay, basically the clay oven is going to separate them. It's very strong and if your pieces aren't attached very well, it's gonna break them apart. All right, I have smoothed this piece successfully into this piece, so I've got my eyelids pretty much done here. So for the eyeball, I'm just gonna take a piece of clay and roll it into a ball. And this is gonna be kind of, in the, I'm gonna make that a little bit smaller. And that's gonna go right about here. So again, I'm gonna attach it, but first I have to score and slip, stick and smooth. I'm gonna put a little bit of scratches on this too, because I want this to stick really well. Okay, I'm gonna kind of wedge that in there and then stick and smooth that piece into the other piece. I don't want any cracks in between them. I want them to be stuck, same piece of clay. So I'm really pressing that clay into the other piece of clay. I'm gonna flatten this eyeball down a bit. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. All right, the last step is to add some textures to your eye. So texture can come in, in different forms. Texture can be like I'm adding pieces to my dragon eye or I'm carving away pieces from my dragon eye. So one idea is you could create spikes for your dragon. So how I would do that is I would flatten out some pieces like a pancake. You can draw with your tools to cut out like little triangles that look more like spikes. Like this. And again, if I wanna attach that to my dragon eye, I gotta score, slip, stick, and smooth. Score, slip, stick. Smooth that piece out. Notice how when I smooth it, it has become one piece of clay. There's no crack there anymore. I might wanna even smooth out the back just to be sure okay so i can put more spikes like this i can keep putting those up here and the other way i can create texture is i can use my clay tools to carve textures so you can use this tool or in the ceramic center you might find some other tools that might be better for making textures for you you might find a tool like this this might be good for making like scratchy marks, so rough marks in your clay, um, or this tool like this can create rough lines for you. Um, you might want to use a tool to create more like scaly marks. Maybe I want to use this tool to create some scales like this, and I can make a scaly pattern like this along the dragon eye. So your goal here really is to have at least three different textures. So I've got like rough, scaly, and I'm gonna work on my spikes up here. Um, once you feel like you have filled up at least three textures, you can stop or you can keep adding more. It's totally up to you. Another thing I could do is I could add little pieces like this to make like little scales. I don't have to carve them out. I could stick little pieces like this to create scales as well. All right, when I think I'm done with my dragon eye, my last step is I need to carve my name on the back, my initials. So just your first name and your last name, what letter they start with. And then go get your clay approved from Mrs. Butner so she can put it on the clay cart to go to the clay oven. And then when it comes back, you're gonna glaze it. So watch the glazing video when you are done with your dragon eye and it comes back from the clay oven and you're ready to add all the colors. All right, happy art creating.